Ni hao, Yan Yan Food Tubers, Chef Michael here in Australia. It's a lovely, beautiful day here in Sydney, so it's time to do some baking. I'm gonna be making one of my favorites, cinnamon scrolls. Beautiful, light, fluffy yeast bun with cinnamon and sugar in the middle, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of something special just to lift the flavor as well, and then iced with a beautiful cream cheese frosting. Yum, yum, let's get started. So for the ingredients for the dough, half a cup of melted butter, half a cup of caster sugar, a cup of milk, two eggs, one teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of dried yeast, and in here I've got four cups of plain flour that I've sifted. First thing I have to do is I have to activate my yeast, and to do that I'm going to warm my milk to roughly 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Anything over that and it will kill the yeast off, anything under that and it won't activate the yeast. On the back of the stove I've put the milk in a saucepan on a very low heat and I'm just going to make sure that gets to about 25 between 25 and 30 degrees Fahrenheit that's 24 that's 25 that can turn off so it's just warm put my finger in there not hot just warm into a small bowl I'm pouring my milk my warmed milk my half a cup of sugar the sugar will feed the yeast my three teaspoons of yeast and I'm just going to mix that through Then I'm going to sit and let that rest and it'll start to ferment and start to bubble up and that means my yeast will be activated. While I'm waiting for my yeast I'm going to get my mixer ready. So I've attached the dough hook to my mixer. I'm going to put the flour in, the salt, I'm going to break and whisk my eggs. So my yeast is ready now. So I'm going to put my melted butter, my eggs, and my yeast mixture into the mixer. Then I'm going to, on a very slow speed, just to bring my, going to uh, bring my ingredients all together to form a nice dough. As you can see, that's starting to come together quite nicely. So I'm just going to increase the speed a little bit. That's better, still a little bit sticky, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that out onto a floured board and give it a little bit more manual kneading to bring it all together into a nice, beautiful, elastic dough. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of kneading to work that gluten and get it to a nice, soft, elastic consistency. I've been kneading that now for about three or four minutes and I'm really happy with that. It's quite smooth on the top and it's a little bit shiny. So that is ready for proving. Yeast needs two things to rise. The first one is warmth and the second one is moisture. I've cleaned my mixing bowl down and I'm just going to get a little bit of spray oil and coat the bottom just so the dough doesn't stick. I'm then going to get my dough, place it in the bottom in here, I've got some warm water. I'm just gonna spray the top of that. That serves two purposes, to give you some moisture. And also, we don't want the skin drying out because if your skin dries out, the dough won't rise. So to create some humidity inside the bowl here, I'm actually going to cover it with some cling wrap. Sealing it all up. That's ready to go. Now all I have to do is find a nice warm spot uh, so that my yeast can rise. I want it to double in size. What better place than out in the garden where there's sunshine? As you can see, there's already some condensation forming where I've on the glad wrap underneath. So that's a really nice, humid environment. I'm going to throw a damp tea towel over the top and I'll leave that for about an hour until it's doubled in size. While my yeast is proving up out the back in the beautiful warm sunshine, I'm gonna make the filling. Three simple ingredients for my filling. 75 grams of unsalted softened butter, one cup of brown sugar, which I've packed in quite tightly, and three teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Very simple method for creating my filling. Into my bowl goes my butter. I've got my little hand beaker out. And I'm just gonna cream that butter.
Now, that's nice and soft. I'm just gonna add in my sugar. And just slowly mix that in. I'm gonna finish mixing that butter and sugar together with my rubber scraper. Then I'm gonna add my cinnamon and thoroughly mix it through. That's all mixed through and it's like a paste mixture. Okay, my dough has been out in the sun here for about an hour and 15 minutes. Let's have a look and see if it's ready to go. Oh, look at that. Yep, that has uh, doubled in size, so that's ready to go for the next stage. Back inside the kitchen, it's time to roll my dough out, put the filling in, and get on to the second proving. Okay, here's my dough. I'm going to punch it back, get it out onto my floured board, give it a little knead. I just need to push it out into a rectangular shape. Make sure there's plenty of flour on the board. Try and keep it as rectangular as possible. And then with my rolling pin, start to roll it out. That's about half a centimetre thick. Now I'm just gonna bring it, relax it back in and get it to that nice square, re sorry, rectangular shape. And that's ready for my filling. I've got my filling here. I'm just gonna put dollops of it all over the dough. Then with my palette knife, I'm just gonna spread it evenly as possible across the surface of the dough. I mentioned earlier that I was going to put something special in as a flavour. So what I've got here is an orange. So I'm just going to zest a little bit of that over the cinnamon sugar mix and that'll give it a lovely little boost of flavour. So we just take the, roll the edges over like so, and then pull it back and try and roll it as tight as possible. Just keep working along the edges and just even it out into a sausage shape. Now, I'm just going to transfer that onto a board. Just going to cut the scrolls. Round about two or three centimetres thick. Just gently with a sharp knife. I have greased a round cake tin, which I'm going to use. So that'll turn out like a tea uh, cake. I've also, for the excess, I've also greased and lined a baking tray. I'm just going to place one little roll in the middle and then around the sides and then on my tray got to do pretty much the same thing next part of the process is to give them the second proving i have my water spray here again just a quick little spray on top just so it doesn't get dry and form a skin on the top i've turned my oven on to 190 degrees and that will create a nice reasonably warm environment for my second proving and I've got a damp cloth and I'm just gonna throw that over the top and leave that for about an hour until they double in size again. I'm just gonna open the oven door a little bit just to let some of that heat out and that'll create a nice warm environment around my cinnamon scrolls as they rise. That's been an hour. Let's have a look and see if my cinnamon buns are ready to be baked. Oh, doubled in size. Absolutely perfect. Let's get them into the oven. In they go. 190 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. While they're in the oven, I'm gonna make the icing because as soon as they come out, I wanna drizzle the icing on the top while they're still hot. For the icing, you'll need half a cup of soft cream cheese, 110 grams of softened unsalted butter, one and a half cups of sifted icing sugar, and I'm also going to use the juice of half an orange just to add to that flavor compound. To make the icing, all we do is put all the ingredients into a bowl and mix them together. Just a little squeeze of orange juice, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix it all through, and that's my icing ready. That's been 15 minutes. Let's have a look. Oh, look at those, lovely and brown. Absolutely perfect. Straight onto the cooling rack. Oh, 
And now, while they're still hot, just lather them with dobs of that beautiful frosting, and that will melt into the into the buns. Wow, they smell absolutely delicious, but I do have to let them cool for just a little bit, but I can't wait to try them. Oh, there we have my beautiful cinnamon scroll. I can't wait to taste it. Mmm. That is absolutely delicious. Delicious. There's that lovely cinnamon, but there's also that lovely little hint of orange. Wonderful. Until next time, bye-bye.